Power Go On people. My name is Just You. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here to bring you another video. And today we're going to talk about five little things, you know, five filmmaking tools that I use to make my life easier. Literally. Much easier. Like I can't do without these things on set. So I'm not going to do the one bag talking, one bag lip service. We're going to just jump into it straight away. And the first thing is. the Rode Video Micro. It's currently on the camera, so you just have to imagine it being in my hand right now. I love the Rode Video Micro because it is small, it is powered by the camera, meaning you don't have to have batteries in it, you don't have to charge it or anything like that. And as soon as you plug it into the camera, turn on your camera, the mic instantly starts working. The third thing I love about it is that is the price. It's like $50 US and again, paired with the quality that you get out of it, it's a must. Um, we're gonna listen to the audio without the mic and with the mic. So right now, it's with the mic. So testing, one, two, three, testing. This is the audio without the mic. Can you hear the difference? Does it sound any worse? Because I know how it sounds and to me it sounds much worse. So. I don't want to do this with the mic out, so I'm gonna put back the mic, put the mic back in, and we're just gonna continue this discussion. The Rode Video Micro also comes with this dead puss. Um, it filters out those the wind when you're outside. It's not necessarily useful for when you're shooting inside. So yeah, that's the Rode Video Micro. It's a really affordable tool, and if you are shooting any type of video that has voiceovers or anything like that then you're going to need a mic. And this one is, for the price, a really good competitor to everything else that is out there in this price region. So that's a Rode Video Micro. So next on the list are ND filters, neutral density filters. So the concept behind this is that it's like sunglasses for your camera. So you would screw this onto your lens and then it cuts down the amount of light entering so you can keep your 180 degree shutter angle rule thing yeah um i know it sounds a little bit more technical but if you guys want me to make a video talking about that then i could do that so just leave that in the comment section somewhere letting me know that you want me to do a video on that and i'll do just that so back to this um the neutral density filter um you have ones that come in hard stops meaning one stop, two stop, three stop, four stop. I have a variable ND filter, meaning as I turn it, it either gets darker or it gets lighter. And these have saved me a lot outside. Let's see if I can take it off and we'll see if we can see a difference. So this is the shot without the ND filter and my lighting right now is very controlled, so it might not look overexposed or anything. I have the lighting dialed in exactly how I want it. So you're not gonna see much of a difference, but if we should take this outside, then you'd see the massive difference that this thing makes. Filters in terms of cost can go from cheap to broke your pocket really quick. And luckily for you, this one costs $21 US and again this is a two to five stop. You can buy more so it cuts down between two to five stop by turning the filter. So there is one big disadvantage that comes with ND filter that is cheaper, isn't it? And that's gonna be that you get this X pattern uh, once you start to turn the turn the filter and it never looks good in your footage so you have to find that sweet point where you're not going into that x region and you're cutting out the right amount of light out of your footage get yourself an nd filter if you're shooting outside most of the times get yourself an nd filter i even use this on my camera and i'm doing photography also um, because it's it's very easy to just cut down your light instead of changing your shutter speed or anything like that so yeah use an nd filter it's really good i don't regret getting mine any at all 
every time that I've used my camera without an ND filter, I almost regret it. So, ND filters. So if you're going to get one of these variable ND filters like I have, what I recommend you do is to buy one that fits the size of your lens with the largest diameter. Once you do that, you can use what we call the step up rings and all these step up rings allow you to do is to adapt this with a much larger diameter onto a lens with a smaller diameter like the one that I have here once it's attached you can simply adapt the, the step up ring now and yeah that's how I do it because I only have one of these you don't need to go and buy one for every single uh, lens that you have get one and get step up rings so the third thing on the list would be these and these are NPF style batteries if you have things like lights monitors um, or external you need some external um, battery power these would be your best friend this is one of the more the, the bigger sizes this they come in at, at least three sizes this one and you normally get them in pairs so when you buy it you get them in pairs um, this one also is about $40 did I mention that everything on this list is below $50 everything on this list below $50 so this one I believe comes up to around $30 to $40 US this is the price right here I have two of these currently and I'm looking to expand uh, the amount of these that I have there are a lot of things you can do with them adapters that you can get uh, and actually charge your your phone your power anything you power your lights if you get a, at least two of these couple them up with an adapter you can power this light a light like this that I have in front of me so get it MPF batteries these are the best Of MPF batteries you see this little light that's happening on the side of me here yeah the next thing on the list is this small light here and this is the Edesi something something correct name right here Edesi something um, this is a very powerful light and as you can see on the back here I have the I have the MPF style battery that I was just talking about so the two that I have and it's right here powering this light it powers this light for about 40 minutes now this this light specifically it's well built it's small it's compact this can basically fit in your pocket I go nowhere without this uh, I love this light it has this let me turn this off it has this diffusion over the top of it here that kind of softens the light for you it's it's hard plastic but for the price that it comes at that it comes in at it is a no-brainer to have one of these it has its bicolor meaning it can you can get this more warmish tone and I can move to a more coolish daylight tone or not tone color so i don't have much to say about it is get one get one of these pair it up with pair it up with one of these batteries and you're good you're golden so and that's the edc video light you can mount this on your camera also i've never done that but it's an option so that was the edc video light go and check it out price here linked in the description let's move on now last but not least the next item that i'm going to introduce you to 
is one that I've been using since the start of this video and it's this uh, Peak Design pouch thing most of the gear that I showed you today I took right out of this and trust me it has much more space in there it has two levels to which you can actually close it so to give you optimal space you can go all the way down to here it just varies if you have much more you can come up here I keep mainly my lenses inside of this case here so this is how it looks when it's full my 85 millimeter my 28 to 70 so so I never have to go back to my bag or constantly be fretting oh I need to get somebody to go get my gear for me it's always with me so I recommend this 100% So those are the five filmmaking or photography gear that I use and cannot live without when I go on a set. Uh, just to give you one more bonus, Cobrata, this is uh, my SD card holder case. It's hard plastic, you can drop this um, and you know, you know that your cards are safe in here. I carry this everywhere with me also because you know instead of just having my cards just all over the place I just all the time have this on me so so to wrap up this video those are the five plus one um, filmmaking gear equipment uh, that's not too expensive that I use that make my life a hundred and twenty percent better uh, you can comment down below which one of these you think you like which one of these you're you're thinking about getting which one of these you also are working with already and yeah so just let's make this community somewhere that we can learn I love to teach I love to share what I know and yeah so like this video if you liked it comment on it share with somebody subscribe if you haven't but it really helps me out if you guys would just like the video this thing yeah click it down there somewhere click it um yeah later <laughs>